So um, we have an update. We had uh, GDC just passed, Game Developers Conference. And what was that, San Francisco? Yes. So this is opening up our bread box and pulling out our bread it, it, and getting some it, butter it, it, from something, our fridge. It's just something you can count on the CU podcast for. It's, it's a coverage of weird-ass new consoles with retro names, uh, all-in-one ROM consoles of dubious legality, uh, just and this stuff, you know, all in one. Pipe dream systems. So, anyways, the Atari box is no longer the Atari box. It is now the Atari VCS, which has already existed. Which was the original name of the yeah. 2600. Right. In 77, 78. I mean, you in, know. In a couple years after, I think. People love it when people, when, when companies just reuse the same name as an old product. Um. You know, the Atari VCS is inspired by the iconic silhouette of the original 20, Atari 2600, which was originally called the Atari VCS, yeah, but whatever. F- fucking Christ. Um, <laughs> I, I just, I can't. Already, like, I'm so angry looking at the picture, okay. and I'll tell you why okay. I'm angry about okay, it. Why, why, why? Because uh, the prototype uh, joystick controller was obviously not thought about, because it, once again, only has a button. One button. One button on... The left hand side. They couldn't. They couldn't even put two on there. No just, joysticks back then. They made third party ones that had two buttons. Yeah, I know. Just, I mean, I can't help Ian out. Help me out. Help, actually, help me out because when you play a game in the arcade, you usually use your left hand on the joystick anyway. It's dumb. Anyways, so this is just. I mean, let's let's just get into the shitty fucking right. corporate. So so they had here. they had prototypes to show off of the console, the, the, a, a snazzy looking joystick. Which is a it's a modernized version doesn't have two buttons though and the most it's the generic go to joypad of the twenty first century <laughs> yeah I guess you can say that with what you have two two uh, joysticks you have a a weird ass looking circular D pad yeah. that almost looks television esque four face buttons and I'm sure there's a few triggers the only I guess clever thing is that on the left of the two joysticks. They have it red to emulate the red button of a 2600. That's clever. It is. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. The console still you know, wants to put his penis on, potentially. Maybe. Maybe with those angles, you don't want to get it caught up. No, it's a little more angular than I thought. It's more angular now. Yeah. So that's not the issue, though. The Atari says the VCS hardware was inspired by the iconic silhouette. Right, 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 right. <laughs> it's going to feature lots, lots. That's the word we're using. Lots of classic Atari <laughs> games, along with current titles from a range of studios. Current titles, range of studios. Wait, wait. Lots of classic okay, games. Okay. And no names. It's custom AMD processor. That's a big shock. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was told originally. Um, they said the launch was delayed. There was, there was, they felt the key, key element, element was missing. missing. I think the key oh, element no. is a... Uh, don't put it on a T for Ian and I. Don't put it on a fucking T. <laughs> yeah, the key, the key put, element's uh, a system? Me, games? Reason to exist? A market? <laughs> yeah. An audience? <laughs> Anyone wanting this fucking thing? <laughs> You're not missing a key element. You're missing oh, a fucking keychain? You're missing the door? <laughs> You're missing the door entirely. You're trying at to least, you're at, trying to unlock a brick fucking wall. At least use a batting machine, <laughs> a pitching machine when you're when you're doing these stories. Don't put it on a tee for us. I mean, fucking I mean, hell. Jesus Christ. That's uh, that's why you're missing a key uh, element. With the Atari VCS in, we know how important it is to get everything completely right, and that's why we briefly paused. They briefly, briefly. paused an imminent. They briefly paused it. What the day of or just, day before? Yeah, just real quick. I gotta go take a piss. Hold on, just one one brief pause. They briefly paused it. It was a difficult decision with the countdown underway, but we weren't really willing to go for with even, even one, one thing out, out of alignment. alignment because it was only one thing. It was just a key element, just one thing, a key element. Atari, Interest. Atari plans. To announce when pre-orders will begin for the VCS sometime in April, they will announce when pre-orders will begin. They will, okay. The we're pre-orders are announcing. Announce- <laughs> we're announcing our pre-order announcement the, for April. The teaser for the pre-orders is April. Uh, it's it's going to be. Pre- it was pretty estimated two fifty three hundred. Now the awesome article from the register. Oh, those blokes in the UK know how to write, yeah. don't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It was a difficult decision with the countdown underway, but we weren't willing to go forward. So this this article from the register to follow up was is we sent a vulture to find the relaunch Atari box and all we all he got was this lousy baseball cap. Things get <laughs> surreal in suite seven oh eight eight. Now when you go to these conventions, there's usually have they have these little 
little booth set up or little rooms. Yeah. This sounds like though it was actually it was a suite at the hotel they had Atari had decked out, it sounded like. Suite seven zero eight eight at the Marriott Marquis Hotel in San Fran. Directly opposite of the GDC. So they actually weren't set up at the GDC then? You had to go to the hotel room to hang out? Oh, okay. This sounds interesting. Yeah. That's that's good. So they checked it out. They said one problem though doesn't work. Not, by not work, we don't mean it, it crashed or is having teething troubles. We mean it literally does not work. Oh. When Atari's chief operating officer, Michael Arts, this is by Kieran McCarthy, by the way, um, this article. When Atari's chief operating uh, officer, Michael Arts, suggested we take a look at the ports in the back, we're surprised to find it actually weighs something. Atari knows how to mock up products. They're, they're, they're a little cheeky. They're, they're a little cheeky with this article. They said, less impressive is the game controller, which looks like an industry standard, which we talked about. The sort of thing hooked up to an Xbox or PlayStation. The buttons don't move. The joysticks are rigid. It has nothing inside. The, tr- the, the traditional controller works, Art told us, pointing to the square stick box with a red button that many, many years ago was the games controller. It's hard not to get a twinge of nostalgia. So that's basically a USB controller because they always exist. You can buy Atari 2600 USB controllers. Sure. So they basically got one and said, this is our prototype for it. I mean, that's probably what they did, I'm assuming, if it worked. Yeah. You wouldn't start I, that, I mean, that's you a, wouldn't start with that first. You would start with the system first. From the book of Kennedy right there. Well, just, the book. Just, just go grab a third-party controller <laughs> and call it your prototype. Uh, what happens if we plug this into our laptop? We ask Mike. I don't know. He says, "Will it work?" I don't know. If we plug it into different games machines, will it work? No. So it's custom hardware and software. I don't know about that. So this is the person representing Atari in the hotel room. God, this seems so Mike, fucking familiar. And his name is Mike, by the way. Yeah, too. I, I've kind of like skipped over that. Mike doesn't know lots of things about the Atari VCS, standing for Atari Video Computer System, which is odd because he's the exec in charge of it. But for those things he doesn't know, he makes up for all the things he does know, none of which he can tell us about. Launch date, can't say. Interface, can't tell you. Hardware manufacturer, can't tell you. Games <laughs> developer partners, we're talking to people. Tar- target market, we can't say. Right. We can't say what the target market is because we don't have one. We don't know. Wow, I can't believe I, I stick with the guy's name was Mike. We, we Mike we... tries to tell us that big product launches are suspended all the time. We tell them they really aren't. They aren't. And on the rare occasion that they are, the company goes out of its way to explain why and give a new launch timeline. Wow. Woo! <sighs> Mike explains that the situation is the hours before the final countdown to a, a NASA rocket launch. Sometimes, even in the last few seconds, they have to call it off because of one small issue. Yes, this is very combo. Yeah, oh my god, a this fucking is game console like, uh, is combo to launching a rocket, rocket launch. with people into space. <laughs> Holy shit! No, they they said we point out that a game's console is literally nothing like, like a, a rocket, rocket launch. launch. Ooh, they put they 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 suck it to Mike. These cheeky bastards at the register. <sighs> they don't they don't put up with guff. These these no, UK journalists. No, I love no, it. No, no, it's 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 good. Mike it's is getting tough. fed up. This is, I wish I was in the yeah, fucking room. Yeah, me too. We, we focus on finding actual real details, and then here's what we get. It'll cost around $250. It will be, in quotes, like a good laptop. It will do 4K video. It will use an AMD chipset. Uh, although they don't know which yet, it will run on Linux. Of course, these all run on yep. Linux. Oh, my God. Woo! Man. We are in a... <laughs> this is article's great. I don't want to recap the whole article, but they say, cross the road companies are live demoing headsets that track your eyeballs and respond accordingly. Physically running around with sci-fi super guns. We were in a hotel suite staring at a games console from our youth that doesn't work. <laughs> and the answer, the only reason, is the name. Isn't that yeah. case in point? Yep. We thank we thank Mike, wish him all the best, and grab an Atari branded baseball cap on the way out the door. <laughs> wow. wow. And that's and that's all you need to say. Kieran said it better than we could because he was there. Uh well. Yeah. Anything else to add? There's a lot of comments on the on this register article. Um, I, <laughs> so just, the first comment: just slap a Raspberry Pi in there and be done with it. <laughs> yeah, slap a Super Nintendo in there with a copy of Arcade's Greatest Hits yeah, yeah. and just oh, call oh, it a wow. day. Wow, throwback game. Yeah. Um, I, I what I'd like to think is that this might be, fingers fucking crossed, that we might see people stop trying to do this because they see it fail after this you think so well this is i mean in all the ways that i never imagined it would again this is honestly going down the road that the retro vgs and the chameleon did well this is a company that could 
might be able to put it out and have maybe the money to do it. But it will it will get to what the Coleco Chameleon was going to do, like have built-in games of shit you owned from 35 right. years ago, and then try to do modern stuff too. That won't like it, there's no reason to do it. It's going to be a less success. that was on at a best, cartridge. It's going to be less successful. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, absolutely. So it, it, what's going to happen? But I'm saying like in terms of all fluff, no, no, no dish, no, no lined up. I mean, there's, look, there's no reason why these people wouldn't want to talk about it. Obviously. I mean, this, this, I don't even need to say that if you had games lined up, if you had big name developers behind you, you'd be fucking shitting that all over the internet. Right. This now. is what's going to be. It's going to be awesome looking. It's yeah. going to remind you of it. Maybe it'll be mail. Well made. You're going to turn it on. You're going to get a cute little Atari logo like you're turning on your fucking Sega Dreamcast. You're going to boot up to an interface where you can access Hulu, Netflix, and anything else you can do on any Roku, any smart TV, or any device that's been out for the last 8 to 10 years. And then you're going to have uh, 50 of the same built-in Atari games you've had on every fucking flashback, on every greatest hits you've had for the past 20 years. Yeah. That's what you're going to have for three hundred dollars or two fifty, mm-hmm. with one controller that's probably going to be average at best, and one USB controller that's already on the market joystick that Ian can't use because they hate lefties. They hate lefties, but you can sit and spin. Um, so, yeah, what where where I was going though is so I, I think this I still think this is very much in the same same area. This person is trying to cash in on nostalgia. They have well, the company no, is, yeah. yeah, the company's trying to cash in on nostalgia. These people have no idea what they're talking about. This is going to fail. And I, I think maybe if this fails in a more public way than the Coleco Chameleon and Retro VGS did uh, in a bigger spotlight, then maybe people will stop trying this fucking horrendous bullshit with um you know trademarks and stuff like that and stop trying to bring back these old retro systems i mean 250 bucks fucking insulting get a switch 50 bucks more go go buy a fucking ps4 for 50 bucks less used i mean eat my shit i'm done <laughs> 